48 volt. I got a 48 volt thousand watt controller to this thing. It's a beast. Watch this. Probably gonna go about 35 miles an hour. All right, so here's what all this shit means. All right. Here's the throttle. This is the throttle, it's got a key, and it's got all that bullshit things. So here's the cable, there's five prongs. Red to red, that's positive. Black to black, and green. So the positive is the five volt, zero to five volt, and then the green is the signal, all right? And then the other two wires that come off of that I figured out um, the yellow goes to positive, which gives you this uh, indicator light here of how much juice is in the battery. But if you hook it to the positive of the main 48 volt run, it'll just always be on. And since I've rigged this one from very scratch, and this had, a, I couldn't really get this out without touching metal, so I didn't bother. So what I did was I came in here. This is basically coming from the switch right here to the controller, the power of the controller. So I just tapped into the positive here before the controller. So that way when I turn on the switch, it hits power to that yellow sends the yellow up to the throttle, gives it the, the signal. So there's that. So if you put it on the battery side here, it would just always be on because the batteries are always hot. So I put it before the controller on the positive. That way the switch turned it on. Then this is the other wire, the white wire. I couldn't figure out how to make it work. <clears throat> this, what does this do? I can't, I'm trying to remember. Oh, this is the lock, the lock. So here's the lock right here. It's blue and red. It came with one of these like this, blue and red. Now, if you don't have a key lock, you cut these two and you wire them together. They have to be wired together because it's basically making a loop. But since I do have a key, I was wondering, you know, which one tried to tie all three together, nothing worked. Well, this one, I eliminate the red one and tie the white to the blue and then my key works. I can turn the machine on and off that way. So that's your throttle. Um, okay, so walking through each of these. Okay, so here's your throttle. This is just your power, positive, negative. This one's your motor blue and red, remember like blood, blue and red. And then, like I said, this one's the door lock or the key lock. Okay, this one is a brake light and charging port. So brake light, I don't have any brake lights on this scooter. The charging port, um, the way this one was set up, they had like some overcharge protector which we don't have nothing for that so what I did was just cut all that and I ran the positive and negative here's the positive to the charger and here's the negative to the to the other 48 volt one so the charger is just direct to the batteries I skipped running it through the controller you're gonna buy a smart controller so it shuts off by itself so those are eliminated all right and you can see the machine works without all this other garbage here um, except for this, this one again is the key lock. But if we're going over here and reading all this, this one says brake light. This one, or I'm sorry, brake, brake, which is typically on a machine you'd have a front and rear brake, and it's just this wire right here. What it does is so like a kid isn't twisting the throttle and the brake at the same time. So if you hit the brake, it will shut off the controller. It's a safety device. So if you do not plug it in, you can run the 
brake and the control or the throttle at the same time. But if you plug it in and you hit the brake, then it'll shut off the controller. So if you don't, if you just leave them like this, that's fine. It'll work. You don't have to tie them together or skip them. In fact, if you tie them together, it uh, it will think you're hitting the brake so the control will be off. So you can't do that. Either plug it in and use the thing or just leave them alone. So there's two of those, front brake, back brake. That's these two. And that leaves two left. Indicator and sport. So indicator, I believe that's like a power on and off. Like if you had a, a light or something, I'm not exactly sure what that one's for. Indicator, possibly blinkers, I don't know, but whatever, you don't need it. Uh, sport mode, so that one, from what I can tell, if I jump the wire from here to here, it has a softer takeoff, like and if I don't have it, it just rips instant power um, but that's pretty much it so you can see out of all this junk really the only thing I'm using is the key the motor the power and the throttle and again this one's gonna go over to here when I get done um, that's it so really the only ones you're tying together would be the power lock if you don't have a key set up like this. The rest is fine.